Do 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 do. Hmm. How long should be my new password? What's up, guys? Welcome to the Hardwin82 channel. I'm Adam, and today we're gonna talk about how long your password should be these days. Uh, so. We will talk a little bit about the data breaches, we will talk about the specific scenario that might happen to you. And before we will start, pause this video and quickly check how long is your password. Every time when you log into your Gmail account or your, uh, or your bank account, check how long is your password. Do it right now. Guys, week ago I've seen post on the cybersecurity hub on LinkedIn and I can't stop thinking about it. Just have a look. Um, it's an infographic telling you how much time it takes a hacker these days to brute force your uh, password in 2022. So for example, let's have a look at this right now. Let's imagine that you, you are using, I don't know, eight characters password. Um, with uh, maybe some lowercase letters and uppercase letters. To hack your password these days, it will take only, have a look at this, two minutes. Two minutes. It's freaking amazing. Okay, but eight characters is nothing these days. Most of us using a little bit more, but have a look again at this. For example, this site, Proton Mail. It's a very popular site. Uh, it's basically Gmail on steroids, doesn't matter, it's not the scope of the video, but let's have a look. This system, it says that your password must contain at least eight characters. Do you think it's enough these days? Spoiler alert, no, it's not good enough. Let's have a look again. So, number of characters, eight. Let's have a look, let's say you are using not, not numbers, obviously, you will use letters, you will use probably numbers and letters and upper cases, lower cases, so we are somewhere here. Okay, let's go crazy, let's add to this special character symbol. So, these days, if you, if you create an account with Proton, Mails, uh, with Proton Mail using only eight characters, these days, the hacker can, can hack this in only 29 minutes. 29 freaking minutes. So again, did you check how long is your password? Is it eight? I hope not. Before you make assumption that if you have something like, let's say 11 char characters with a special and um, numbers, lower uppercase and symbols and uh, and your assumption will be, uh, it will take 34 years to crack my password. Uh, please remember about one thing. The technology is changing so fast these days that this infographic might be very inaccurate in the next few months, simply because of how things are changing these days. They are changing extre extremely fast. Let's have a look, for example, at uh, NVIDIA graphic cards, how fast they are. Just, just quickly, I'm not gonna go too deep into the subject, just, just have a look roughly. For example, have a look at this RTX 2080 uh, Ti, you can still buy it on the market, was launched around two years ago. Have a look, compare this to the newest graphic card that we have these days. Have a look at that, at those numbers, almost three times faster. The same with a CPU, the same with every other equipment. So this infographic will be very inaccurate very soon. So if you, if you think 11 characters is good, just, just, just look at this again. Okay, okay, so someone could say something like, so what, I, my password is 10, 11 characters and what, what, what potentially will happen? How that hacking really freaking works? Why I should bother about that? Why I should, why, why I should care basically? So I will explain you why. I'm sure you heard about something called data breaches. Uh, they are happening these days very often on, on basically daily basis. So just, just have a look at this. This 
this uh, the cyber security hub is great so if you if you have some time just browse for a bit uh, so have a look at this document they are recording how many data breaches it was in in each year and uh, what service was uh, actually attacked so for example on the 30th of november the very famous password manager last pass was uh, was let's say hacked it, it was a breach I will, I will explain in a bit what that means. Who else? Um, so we have different companies. We have uh, uh, banks here. We have uh, airlines. We have, uh, look at that, Continental. The people making tires. Who else? Vodafone. How many people using Vodafone? Um, Maple Leaf. Many things I do not know, but I'm sure many of you can recognize what that is. You can imagine the situation. You you have an account with with let's say Lloyds Bank or some, something else, and, there, and you hear in the news there was a data breach. And um, how this will affect you? I will tell you how. Every time you go to your website and you you put your credentials like uh, you know login in and password, that password has to be those credentials has to be compared to something. So. Obviously, there is a system that needs to compare if the password you are using is the password, is the right password. So your password is, is on the database somewhere. In this case, Vodafone. Maybe you are a customer of the Vodafone. So they, they are holding your password somewhere on the database. Obviously, the password is not a simple TXT file that you can just simply open on it and you have, uh, yeah, that's, and you have this password, that's it. It doesn't work like this. The, your password is protected. Basically, it's encrypted. Uh, and when the data breach happens, those hackers, they have something like, it's called hash. Hash is basically encrypted version of your password. And when they have it, they can run it through the special software and crack it. And they will use different methods the thing I was just talking about uh, is a method called brute force. So basically they are using pure muscles to crack your password and it goes like this. They are running the software and the software is doing this. Let's have a look. Maybe the password is A. No, maybe it's password B. No, C, D, E, F, G, so on, so on. Then they will start using two symbols, A, 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 B, A, C and so on so on then they will start using three four five they will start using also special characters symbols lowercase lowercase uppercase and uh, i know it can be complicated it can take long time but when the hackers these days are able to acquire a very powerful pc with a super strong cpu with a super strong graphic card it's not taking that long I'm just gonna give you an example how that exactly works. So let's say you are making a password. This is your password. You wanna be clever and you're using uppercase, lowercase, some numbers. Okay. You're applying for, let's say, new Gmail account and you wanna use this. And Gmail account will encrypt your password and create a hash for it. And a hash will look like this. So this is your hash. So when the data breach happens and it's happening freaking nonstop, they will have thousands of hundreds of hash of uh, hashes of different clients. And they will just run it through the software. So what they are using, for example. So let's say I'm the hacker. I have I just acquired this hash and I want to crack your password. What I can do, I can run a simple freaking software that is available online for free. One of those is called Kane and Abu. And what they are doing? They will use one of those methods. I'm not expert in this and this video is not about to how to crack a password. I just want to show you how easy that is. So what they will do, they will add they will add this hash to this program and they will run it's called brute force attack like I just explained they will use 
different options. Again, I don't want to go too, too much to details here. And, um, and simply they will hit start. Have a look what's happening here. Current password. This freaking thing on my computer, and my computer is not that freaking fast, can check. Have a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, nine, almost 10 million passwords per second. I wonder how long it will take to crack my passport. Okay, guys, this 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 task is a little bit too, too complicated to make for my computer. So I will, maybe I will do something else. Let's let's stop this because I don't I don't have time for this. So let's remove this. Uh, let's go again here. So I will just make something really simple, just to show you the general idea how that works. Generate, copy. Brute force. Uh, oh, you saw that? That was so simple. Took one second to crack this. The password is the password is Adam. Again, generate. Maybe this will be a little bit more complicated. few seconds so now you see how important it is to have a strong password because at the end of the day anybody can do that uh, you don't have to know anything you just download the software you saw roughly what I'm doing you can do the same and uh, if you think you need to be a hacker to steal that uh, those those hashes no these days if you go to certain websites which I'm not gonna talk here you can download this for free, uh, especially on the dark net. So it's not that complicated to do that. So if you if someone has a spare time, let's go through this scenario. Someone is very bored at home. He found a database on one of those dodgy websites. He download the he download the all those hashes. He has software like this. He has a quite good computer. He run it. He will, I don't know, he will go for a coffee, he will leave the computer for a few days, constant working on it, and he will eventually, he will crack the password. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button, but only if you want. And uh, I just wanna say thank you, guys, because my community is growing uh, recently I hit 1,000 subscribers yeah I'm very happy about that so uh, thank you again I'm doing this for you guys if you have any questions please don't be shy just left a comment below uh, I will try to reply and uh, yeah thank you very much and I will see you next time thank you bye